we have our month generation working. Our entire month is generated with this receive right here, meaning that we can reuse this anytime we want. Let's do this. Let's turn these back on. So we are defaulting to our month and year. And then let's add in our navigation for left and right. If I click on the right chevron, I want to go to the next month. If I click on the left chevron, I want to go to the previous month. Now, there will be a bit of a nuance that if I am in December 2024 and I press right, then I want to go to January 2025. So we're going to need to reset our month value. And similarly, if I am in January of a year and I click the left chevron, I want to go to December of the previous year. Let's do this. I'm going to click on this guy right here. This is the next month layer. I'm going to add a trigger, tap. And whenever I tap next month, then I need to make a decision. If I'm any month other than December, I just want to increase my month number by one. Anything other than December, so my month value is not 12, I'm just going to add one to it. So condition. If month is less than 12, or I can say not equal to 12 would also work. Basically, not December. Then I'm going to say assign month, and it's going to increase it by one. Month plus one. If it is December, however, I need to reset my month to January, and I need to increase my year by one. So let's do this. Duplicate this. If it does equal 12, month equals 12, then I'm going to, instead of saying month plus one, I'm going to explicitly set it to one. One is the number for January. Say month equals one. And then I'm also going to say assign year, year plus one. All right, and let's copy this. Send generate month to self. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to paste it here. Every time I tap, and let's make this next month. Every time I tap next month, I'm going to go forward one month in time. So let's preview this. Let's see if this works. And there we go. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. November, December, and then now I expect this to go to January 2025. There we go. Perfect. And each time it's regenerating my month. Look at this. And as you can imagine, this will work in perpetuity. It'll work for any month and year value that I give it. Let's do the same thing for the left chevron. Let's add a trigger. Tap. This will be previous month. And I need to make similar conditions here. If it's not January, so condition, month does not equal one. Then here, let's copy these because they're going to be very similar. But instead of adding one, I'm going to subtract one. And one more condition here, condition, if month equals one. So if it is January, then let's copy these. Again, going to be very similar. Month is now going to equal 12 because I want to go to December. Year is going to go minus one. And now let's preview this one more time. And if I go backwards, there we go. January, December 2022. I go forward. January, December. All right. Now, if you are clicking on these and you're having a hard time hitting them, you're finding you have to be super precise. Let's fix that. Let's take both of these guys and let's increase the touch area on them. So I'm going to put, I want these to be a minimum of 44 by 44. Now they are currently 14 by 24, meaning that I need to add 10 to the top and bottom and 15 to the left and right. So I'm going to turn off equal, 
10 to the top, 15 to the left and right, 10 to the bottom. And there we go. Now, if you click on any one of these, now you can see it's touch area, much bigger. And this should be much easier to hit now.